just uh, make sure you take that opportunity because, you know, I don't know how much he's charging, but it's going to be worth it. You know, the value that we've received so far has allowed us to deploy almost three or four different digital assets with David in just a few months. So for the record, Mr. Hafiz, how much have you and your partner Theo accumulated so far since you started with Party Bus? Uh, well, we had the one come in that was a paid job that just happened on the 29th. That was the first one that was on the schedule uh, that's come up. There's also bookings for May, June, July. There's, you know, when they're coming in, they're booking so far ahead. We weren't getting them caught up with our schedule until just right now. Gratitude to Yah's real Israel, David. I got instant messages, people flooding in that wanted my services. And I've been booming ever since. Wow. So, uh, 1,500 came in off the party buses. There's three more, four more bookings for about the same size further down the pipeline. And that's the answer to that question. Okay, so 1,500 cash collected so far. And you said you guys are bucked up for a couple months, so three or four more yeah. around at that same price of 1,500. We'll say around 1,000 to 1,500 or something like that. So, all right, so I just wanted to jump Right in with that pause. You guys never seen his other testimonials before. Like Hafiz is doing a lot of things and he's a great businessman. Uh, but if you never met him before, go ahead and give them a quick, quick, quick introduction so we can get back to the value. Yes, sir. Uh, well, in the past few months, we've deployed a few assets. We've got an affiliate network started, a bank asset, which is a banking app in the fintech space. Uh, we're just upgrading that to our next version now that includes a 5G cellular banking app with the banking app. And I wanted to show that to you. I've got a, a, a website up for it. We've got the uh, drop servicing where we've got the limos, party buses in Seattle and Tacoma. We've just started getting our lead flow going. We want to do a little bit more posting to get more leads in and expand it out to some more cities. We've got some offers to go to other cities. Uh, okay. There's a few more other things, but those are the highlights. Okay, so that's where it's at. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, they got serious and they're starting to, you know, build some traction and get some money with the party bus rental niche. Uh, if you guys want to start a party bus rental business, you do not have to have your own party bus. Um, uh, Hafiz's and Theo's situation is different. Um, Theo already had an uh, actual physical party bus. <laughs> So that's just like, it was like, whoa, okay, so that's perfect. So they was able to just hit the road, Jack. So how long after you put a listing up on um, Thumbtack did like leads actually start coming in, like people reaching out? Thumbtack worked right away. I think the first, uh, we put it up on a Wednesday and by Thursday, Friday, everyone was looking for the weekend. <laughs> hey, um, it... If you go back on my channel, 2015 uh, on up, you'll see that I teach people how to do marketing and advertising. So I teach something called SEO. We dominated something called the snack pack, or a lot of people know it as the Google My Business, well, formerly known as that, but now known as Google Business Profiles. A lot of bad things started happening with that. And I got so deep into uh, SEO and, you know, doing other type of forms of advertising that I forgot all about the, the most simplest forms of leverage there were. And uh, that is directories and different platforms and partnering platforms that their entire existence is to bring you leads. Okay, guys. So once I uh, gave this to Theo uh, and Hafiz, they put it up on, on Thumbtack and there's a whole bunch of other sites as well, guys. And the leads immediately started coming in. All right. How much did you have to pay up front to get the job? You know, those things are so cheap. You know, we, we put up the app for free, got verified, all that. When the leads started coming in, we could choose which ones we want to pay for. I think they were between 10 and $13. 13 <laughs> was for that one, $13.72. That's a good cost for a lead because you get their phone number. It already says they wanted to book for seven hours. That's crazy. Like, the, you know, you got to call them for 13 bucks. You get their number. Then you can call them right there be the first person and say hey here's the price so like i said usually i teach them like you know we we put up the birthday party ads on facebook and everything like that and if you guys check out the old um testimonial with uh coach keith he's now a coach keith um the 140k student with party buses the same niche guys 
Um, he within a couple hours of putting up his party bus ad in his in the city that he was targeting, he got his first sale, and that was around a thousand dollars, right? So you can do it fast multiple ways. But if I had to start over from scratch, guys. I would say to use these different platforms first because their entire job is to, is to generate the leads for you. You don't have to be some uh, magical marketer or anything like that. So, all right, I got a very, like, like very, very important question to ask you, Hafiz. All right, so I'm pretty sure these people became other people's leads as well. They probably reached out to a lot of people and were window shopping and price shopping. What do you think it was that got them to choose you guys when you called them to confirm? The one booking that we wanted right away to pay the full amount as soon as possible, we switched it up a little bit and we offered the free vacation that you recommended off the marketing platform. There's this travel incentive platform that David recommended as part of the course. And when you use it, what you can get is restaurant, hotel, savings cards, and free vacations. So because this was a seven hour booking over $1,200, it was $1,500 US. We're like, this is a good, value. we're going to offer them a hotel savings card, a restaurant savings card, and a three day to seven day vacation, depending on the destination they pick where the airfare was not included and they had to pay the local taxes, but we paid for the hotel. And we were able to give this away at virtually no cost to us. It was literally no cost to us once we were part of the membership we paid for to be a part of this marketing program then we can keep on giving away these incentives now we also said we're going to buy her a bottle i don't know if the bottle made a difference but we threw that in anyways and she was just so excited i guess you know since she didn't pay for the incentives she just wanted to double stamp like that was the best deal once she heard that was the best deal she's like well how much do i gotta pay where do i pay it was like mm. where do i pay it went it went from how do i do it to where so where do I pay? How do I do it? So where do I pay? And that is the power. This is not rehearse, man. Hafiz didn't sit and talk before we press record, guys. That's why I strategically asked him that question because I already knew the answer was the offer. Think about it. You're on a platform. It's the same way as a as a shelf a shelf at a grocery store. All right, I want a soda. Every uh, beverage on that shelf is a soda. What makes me stand out? Oh, it's dark soda. No, that doesn't matter. It's Pepsi, it's Coke, it's Dr. Pepper. What makes me stand out on this shelf? So when it comes to services business, the offer is what can make you stand out. So she was not about to get off the phone and continue window shopping when she had an offer like what Hafiz approached her with. And when you guys get in the copy and paste rentals program, we show you how to construct an offer no matter what type of rental niche you go into to where people won't have to price shop or window shop. You can actually be more expensive than your competitors, but it will make all the sense in the world to the customer or the client. Okay, so have you guys already fulfilled that first customer so far? Yeah, they left an amazing review. It was like a two paragraph review. I wanted to pin that at the top. You're like, you know, we had a great time. We took pictures. We want to come back. Mr. Brown was the best. <laughs> we stopped anywhere we wanted. I wish we would have done it again. We're definitely going to do it again. She said that <laughs> twice. You know what I mean? It was a great review. Yeah. Okay. That's where I said. See, that's the thing. And now you guys are going to get like a, a recurring customer and they should, uh, uh, what you want to do, create a new offer now, create an offer to get their family because his birthday is all over the place, right? We want to, you want to be their go-to party bus solution. Okay. Yeah. So reach back out to them, follow up and like, Hey, I'm happy you enjoyed your time. Um, uh, you know, we'll give 10% off of all your family members or something for the first two years that you guys are working with us. So you're, you're programming it in their head that this is going to be a generational uh, relationship. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. you, you start doing things like that, that way, guess what? The e uh, the, uh, the months and the, uh, the years become easier for your party bus rental business because now you're having referrals. It starts with one, right? And they just, they refer the rest of their family members and that's the least of, that's the less amount of, uh, you know, outbound type of advertising efforts that you have to put. Um, so what does Theo think about all of this? I, I got to ask him. But Once he saw the offer change, because we had a bunch of leads come in, we paid for a few leads and the offer wasn't hitting. But like once we 
put in those incentives and then Cho Keith, uh, you know, coach chosen, he said, uh, we should offer to buy them a, a birthday bottle. But even yeah. though it wasn't this person's birthday, we said, we'll buy them a bottle. And I don't know which incentive it was, but the response was totally different. It was like, oh, okay, where do I pay? Well, that's what you want to do. You want to stack. That's why we call it, a, you know, irresistible offer. The first, this first step is to create a bold claim statement or promise. You're going to enjoy your birthday like you never have before. Then you want to offer stack. When you come with us, you're going to receive this, that, this, that, this, that, this. Then you want to do a risk reversal. If you don't have the best birthday ever, we'll give you 50% off your anniversary coming up or something, blah, 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 whatever you want to do. That, and, and guess what? Sometimes uh, the offer that you have, you might need to add some things to it, but you beat the them down in a good way until they're like, oh, well, I just have to go with these guys. Nobody else is even coming close. And that's what you guys were able to pull off. That's that's where it's at. So what are your future plans uh, for the party bus rental business, like the cities and states you're trying to go out to? Well, you know, a lot of the students that you've, one of your students in Chicago, I don't want to say his name because I mentioned it to you before, but just, I you know if he's watching, he knows I'm talking about him. He got so excited about what we were doing with you in Seattle and Tacoma. He offered to set us up in Chicago. We have other people that I've been talking about you to that want to offer us uh, a team. We just have to find an address in the state of Hawaii, but through their family, they already have vehicles. So we have gone through some U.S. and Canadian cities. We have about 16 cities. We want to do a national website like Avis and Hertz, like for national rental uh, website where they can pick the city. But then there's going to be local websites that have the inventory on them that are SEO optimized. So they're with the, with the city name in the title. So um, we're just going to get the Seattle and Tacoma really hitting to use it as a model showcase to show everybody else this is how we're going to deploy it in your city but, yeah but people are lining up already um we wanted to team up with some of the guys that are in vegas atlanta orlando in the you know that they're also students of yours so everybody's on the same page everybody's doing it the same way and we'll create a national network of drop service that sounds like a plan man you got a conglomerate going on man I woke up some money from my guy, fly guy, David Robinson, right? Talking about how I went through his class. And I made 140000 in 90 days. Oh, I got to tell you what, we never, it's because of you. So we've got an equity stack waiting for you. We wouldn't be moving here without you. And we want you to continue to guide the whole community. So oh, no problem, man. Um, matter of fact, speaking of which, man, I sometime this year, we're going, I want you guys to come out to Panama, you know, come out yes. to the jungle where I'm at, you know, I'm going to make it extremely affordable and stuff. It's not going to be one of those Russell Brunson or Myron Golden mastermind type situations yet. Uh, <laughs> but I just, I'm ready to uh, have a lot of you guys sitting here in front of me. It's way easier to help somebody when they're sitting there, which kind of like when we used to be in, in school, you'll sit next to you know, a classmate and you can help them on a math assignment is easier than if they called you over the phone and tried to get you to help them. It's going to be difficult to explain the equation and do all of that. Right. So I would love to bring some of you guys out here, uh, you know, either here or Mexico. I'm thinking here, though. Um, and and we can really build. I want to go over things like like enhancing your partnerships. You do real good with that. Uh, you know, different points of leverage. OK, we need to get to the point where we're talking about uh, internships and affiliates, not just affiliates, internships, affiliates and strategic joint ventures. But we'll we'll get to all of that. Um, But it seems you as if you're already starting to do some of those things with the party bus niche. And I really want you guys to zone in because you can turn this not just into six figures a year. You can start making at least five figures per month with this. Right. Um, um, if you really zone in on it, I don't want you guys to get spread thin for those yeah. of you watching this works, this works with any niche, you know, uh, you're, you're literally becoming a third party. You're, you're the new Airbnb, you're Toro, you're uh DoorDash, Uber Eats. You're, you're the one that's promoting the service, but then your local business partner, they fulfill the service. You see what I'm saying? So it's a perfect marriage and, and you split profits. So 
Uh, this works with any niche. We can do photo booth rent, uh, rental businesses. Uh, you know, we got the limos with the party buses. We used to do the private jet charters, but it's a, it's, it's a huge profit, like gigantic. But is it a lot of my partnerships went sour, so to build those back up, it'll take some time. So we won't even go into the private private jet charter. But the yacht rental, that's the first one. As soon as you guys get into the program, um, yacht rental business, you guys can start that. And those are huge, huge, ginormous. I know that's not a word. Huge, huge profit margins, right? So uh <laughs> It's not just party bus, but party bus is one of the easiest ones to get up and running and um, in high demand where it doesn't matter the the um, uh, you know the the class level you know it uh, you know medium you know class low class uh, you know it doesn't matter like their income earnings and, and and brackets and stuff like that so anybody can do it like on a one to ten scale. After you guys got everything set up, how difficult was this, Hafiz? Man, every step was easy. I just wish we would have known that as soon as we finished that, tested the offer and changed the offer, it would have worked right away because we would have worked harder to get it done in one or two <laughs> sessions. You know what I mean? Because we were dealing with so much and we were trying to deploy it step by step. But man, like to anybody listening, this shit is not that hard. So if you do <laughs> start working at it, Go all the way through it till the end and test your offer. Once you get your offer exactly right, people will be booking. Like, it's not rocket science, so don't give up and don't get distracted with your other businesses. When you're working on setting this thing up, mm -hmm. set it up all the way through so then you can see if it worked or not. Just go do that. Don't, don't do it part way, a little bit here at a time and build it up slowly. Like, it'll actually work, so finish it as quick as possible. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, see, this this is what I'm saying, y'all. Just just focus. Once you find something that works, just focus. It's a lot of business models, and this is the problem with entrepreneurs. We the shiny object syndrome is a real thing. Is 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 a real thing. And uh, when you see a person that's in the game for a long time and they haven't made impressive money, it's not because they don't know how. It's usually because they know too much. <laughs> right. And this is why I said I need to get certain people like sitting next to me so I can force them to stop watching webinars. Don't click on the next ad that come up. Ignore the rest of the business. I, it's always going to be another business model. It's always going to be a business model that might make more than what you're doing right now. But guess what? If you stop your progress that you got right now and you go jump to that, you're a beginner over there too. So now you got to build up there. And then guess what? You might get interested in something else while you're doing that. You're never going to get anywhere. So I, I had to break myself out of that because I have multiple businesses as well. I have an agency that I just recently had to put on a back burner. But what I'm doing to try to prevent from having to completely just, I'm putting my agency inside my affiliate army. That way they can grow my agency, right? But other people that don't have an affiliate army, you're trying to do multiple things at once and you don't have any help. And that's why you're impeding your growth. All right. So like he said, just it works. Once you have like everything works, e-commerce, all of that stuff, everything works. So once you have something that's proven and you have a guide, just do it, man. Just do it until you don't have to worry about bills anymore. Do it until you don't have to worry about food anymore. Do it until you don't have to worry about checking the price on things anymore. If you have to become a millionaire uh, uh, delivering food or, or, or um, you know, picking up trash like waste management, waste management is a billion dollar company. Do you think he dreamed as a kid about being in, in garbage <laughs> industry? No. But once you find something that people will pay for and that works, just do it until you, all your cares are gone. And then you can start going after your passion and experiment with other stuff. So, uh, uh, Javis, tell them a little bit about, uh, okay, so what was the beginning issues that you guys were having with Thumbtack? They might run it. Like, uh, uh, Thumbtack worked right away. I guess it was just our offer because we paid for some leads and they just never responded, you know. But once we changed our offer, the first person was like, oh, okay, where do I pay? And then, we, okay. you know, and also with the old offer, we were getting future bookings. There was nobody that was like, because I, I guess I didn't know when they were looking. So I guess we were running into a whole bunch of people 
from the beginning that were booking a few months out that we, we were getting those. But it just happened to be that we changed our offer with one person and she said, oh, okay, and she booked like a couple days later. And so she paid right away. So I don't know, that one made a big impact on me because her, her date was right away and she loved the new offer and she wanted to pay right away and we got money right away. So that one stood out to me as what we have to do all the time. Okay, so I like what you're saying. What I want you to do when we get off here is post the modification that you made of the offer in the private group. Don't say it, don't say it on here. Not trying okay. to, you know, deprive you guys watching, but we're already giving everything on here. We're already telling you guys where our source is and, and all of that stuff. So just post the, what the new modification yeah. offer that you made. We are, he already told you guys that he added a, a, a bottle of wine to, to the already existing uh, offer to make it even more irresistible. And the lady was like, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Like I said, sometimes you just got to beat them upside the head with more stuff. I mean, like, all right, like what else could they like, right? What else would they need? So you got the, you gave them the partnership for the, you know, the incentives for the vacation, the the food and, and all of that extra stuff. So I'm, I'm super grateful that you guys got it together and like, put up the thumbtack and, and uh, all right. So what other marketing tactics are you about to deploy? So you guys can scale this up. Groupon is coming. Facebook ads are coming this week. And then, you know, the next week we'll be doing four different event and wedding planning ads. So we can branch out into those because the summer is coming up. So we wanted to get into that market. You know what I mean? Dog, listen, I'm super proud of y'all, man. Cause at first y'all had me a little nervous when he was taking a while to confirm that thumbtack. I'm like, yo, what's taking so long to confirm that thumbtack, man? Y'all had me a little nervous, but once they got it up, man, that's where it is. Um, and I was telling my wife about y'all, man. Like when you sent me that message that y'all got y'all for, like I've been doing this for a long time, y'all, but I still get excited when a student gets results. Like that's something that just never goes away for me. Like it's nothing better than that. And it might be a selfish thing, uh, but it's nothing better than that. And what I mean by that is when, 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 when you can make money, that's cool, right? When you know how to make money, that's, that's all right, right? But you, you don't really know how good you are unless you can teach someone else to do the things you're good at. And so when, when students get results, man, I'm like the biggest freaking cheerleader, <laughs> biggest cheerleader in the world, man, because it's like, ah, okay, now you have the knowledge to take care of your family, the knowledge to build. And guess what? These are the frameworks for whatever else you want to do. I always tell you guys, traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. The thumbtack gave you traffic. It gave you traffic. Now when you add your listing, you Google my business. Once you get that right. That's more traffic. Once you get the Facebook ads up, that's more traffic. You get your Groupon, that's even more traffic. Groupon probably will blow it out the water for you. So yeah. now, and you you tweaked your offer. So all that traffic going to that offer, you guys don't have a choice but to to grow and grow. And I and I'll tell them what you did with the money, man, because they they need to learn. Uh, now, of course, guys, you guys don't have to have. A vehicle. Hafiz didn't have to have a vehicle, but it was it was a coincidence that his friend and partner already had a party bus, right? So, but if he didn't, Hafiz would just follow what the course tells you to do and make partners with the local person people. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, we also used your uh, you know tactics on that. We added two limo companies using those tactics. Now we have limos and party buses. And what we spent mm -hmm. with the money was uh, we've been working on getting our second party bus on the road it's a 24 seater luxury shuttle bus we had the seats put in and we used the money to get the seats of poster now we just have to get the tvs the flat screen tvs mounted and this is on the road as well now we also took 500 dollars and set up a funded account that we're offering to other people for fifty thousand dollars that we have someone trading for us automatically and that should generate a profit of about two hundred dollars a day off the fifty thousand funded account that we only put five hundred dollars down. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use that $200 a day to go into Facebook. So his money, his money is making money for him. And that's when you start getting to the point where it's not a struggle anymore, guys. And that's why I'm just like urging you guys to, to when you see something working, just just attack that and just keep doing it and doing it. Because once you get to a certain amount of money, you can start making your money 
work for you instead of you. See, right now, if you're watching this, you're working for your money. You're at the point where you need to figure out how to get right. But once you got that part, like it's not too many, not too many moving parts to this finance game, guys. Once you get to making money, now you need to switch your mind. Now is no longer, I got a book that I'm going to uh, write soon. <laughs> it's called Mind. It, anyway, I ain't going to say it out loud because somebody will steal it, man. <laughs> but uh, you, you need to start, you need to switch from using your muscles to make you money to using your mind to make you money, right? You need to start saying, okay, well, let's say all my expenses is $3,000 a month. Okay, I got this party bus rental business going up and I'm at around 3,500 a month. All my expenses is 3,000, right? So I got an extra 500 every freaking month. Well, guess what? Now the Bible says that uh, um, uh, the rich does great labor by gathering riches together, but the poor laboreth and is still a uh, poor laboreth in a poor estate and is still needy. Okay, when you're when you're uh, um, in a medium class and you got a job nine to five, so to speak, or even if you're a new entrepreneur and let's say you just out here manually DMing and trying to struggle to get, you're using the poor estate, all right, to try to survive. And even if you get that a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, you're back on the race the next month. Damn, this bird tried to swoop down and get me out. <laughs> You, you're back on it uh, the next month and you still need it after, after you're done paying your bills and all of that, you still need it. But guess what? The rich, they put in a different type of work. He calls it a great work. I'm talking about God. He says it's a great labor and they use that work to gather riches together. So they put money into already income producing assets. So think about it. Then you never have to go back. So I'll give an example. Then we'll, you know, because I don't want to get too, too off track and preaching and stuff. But let's say, uh, oh, you're like, well, I don't have a lot of money to uh, uh, buy real estate and, and and have that asset generating income for me. That's cool. Guess what? I just bought some YouTube channels. They're already monetized. So the rich put great labor into gathering riches together. You can start on any level. Okay, start on a small level. The YouTube channels is 85 bucks a piece and they are already monetized. That means they're generating 20, 20 to 50 bucks a month already. Now, when I have a VA or one of my kids or somebody go and re-upload all my other content on there, I have another couple income stream networks out there just bringing me easy freaking money. So I'm building this moat of riches around me so that I never fall back into poverty or the poverty mindset. So we just, we giving you guys game on here. So the point is go ahead and get in copy and paste rental, pick a niche. I suggest party buses, do it in your city or a city that you, you know, feel has high demand, make some money and then invest it into stuff that doesn't require you to move around to earn profit. Okay. And uh, as you can see, Hafiz is doing that. He's taking his money and he's putting it into trading. So, all right. Anything you wanted to say, any words of wisdom or advice, uh, any recommendations you would give them before we ride off into the sunset? And what would you tell them about copy and paste rental? Just uh, make sure you take that opportunity because, you know, I don't know how much he's charging, but it's going to be worth it. You know, the value that we've received so far has allowed us to deploy almost three or four different digital assets with David in just a few months. They're all income producing and he's you got to start somewhere. So like he said, you don't need party buses to start. He's going to show you how to get partners. So why not go ahead and do that and take it serious and just finish what the recommendations are because they do work. Like I told you earlier, you just have to finish. It's something that's not experimental. This is not an experiment. This is like science. This is tested true recipes and formulas that will print out money for you. You just have to do the work to deploy the solution. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs>
Hey, man, I couldn't have said it better myself, man. Uh, I'm proud of you, man, and I'm pretty sure your parents are proud of you, and, you, and you're doing it, man. Just keep going, keep going. Whenever something slow down, tweak it, tweak it, add to it, right? You know what I'm saying? But as you guys add more traffic to, you know, the party bus business, it's going to become very, like, very much effortless. That's that. Those are the components, guys. Anybody watching this, if you ever get coaching from me or anybody, else is really making money they got fancy ways of putting it but it's really only two things traffic and the offer of course you need to have you know the right type of traffic but you know the better your offer is shoot i've been able to convert extremely cold traffic people that weren't even in the market just because my offer was so strong that they was like hmm even though i wasn't looking for this uh i might be one day so let me just go ahead and Get it now. It's like, so you really want to zone in. If you guys haven't picked up anything on this this session right here, pick up the fact that your offer needs to be strong as I don't want to curse. Read the book, The Irresistible Offer. Please do. Read the book, The Irresistible Offer is going to change your life. And then if it's a traffic book that I can recommend, um, it'll be Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson. You'll be fully equipped to know how to get traffic. If you combine his book with the irresistible offer, you'll be fully equipped to make money no matter what your product or service is. I, I promise you that. All right, go ahead and take advantage of the fact that copy and paste rentals is only 97 bucks a month. Right now you get access to the copy and paste rentals program plus the advanced uh, older version of the Godfather of drop servicing and you get the private community plus the coaches in there. Uh, and then we have some other stuff coming up soon. All right, so see you guys in the next one. I'm out.